Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Well, it's been quite hot here in Australia and I thought I'd do something that would be beach ready and something that you, you know, maybe you don't want to wear a full face of makeup at the beach, but maybe you do. I'm one of these people that don't mind having a bit of foundation on over sunscreen and having a bit of makeup on the face like mascara, eyeshadow, defining just a little bit of the, the face. If you're a little bit extra and you like to show a little bit of glinty highlight even though you'll be actually pretty sweaty and glowy at the beach anyway then keep on watching so I'm actually going to be starting off with this rose ink um, it's this makeup it's a skin enhanced luminous tinted serum and I'm in the shade 7 I'll just it's reminiscent of the Chanel little baubles that come out the skin water tint fresh you know the, the fresh water tint skin that one, you know what I'm talking about, that one. <laughs> just gonna put that over the face. I need a little bit more than just that little squirt that I did, so. Putting that over my sunscreen. Now I'm already using sunscreen. I'm using the Elta MD SPF 46. One of my favorite sunscreens to use. And it's just, it's just an amazing, um, it's an amazing sunscreen guys, so highly recommend it. Sephora 56 foundation brush and I'm just blending that through what I love about this tinted serum is that it doesn't ball up on any of your sunscreens well it hasn't balled up yet on me so got some hair there and this little cute little scarf that I'm wearing is by Moroccan oil um, it came as a free gift with the hairspray so it's actually a facial it's like a hair mist actually uh, I ordered this from Sephora and it smells I don't know if you like the Moroccan oil scent but I absolutely love it and it came with this cute little free scarf so perfect for the beach perfect for any time really and the color is absolutely beautiful so if you like the Moroccan oil scent, let me just take it out. I mean, I did take it out. I'll just show you the, the bottle. You guys have probably seen this. I mean, it says it's a new product, but let me, let's spray some on now, shall we? But before we do that, I just want to, before we do that, I need to spray it on the hair. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's put that over the body. Okay. This is... I love it. I don't know if it's long lasting, but I just had to get it. So there's that. Anyway, let's get back to doing the face. <laughs> I hope you guys have all been well. Um, yeah, so it's, it's summer in Australia, obviously, and I know in other parts of the world it isn't. It's quite the opposite. It's winter. And... Extreme weather has been crazy. I have a little bit of a blemish happening there. No, I'm not going to pop it. I tried popping it yesterday and it wouldn't pop. So I was like, okay, that's a sign not to pop it just yet. So put a bit of a, um, you know, the Paula's Choice BHA exfoliator on it and it reduced it. So, so that's a good thing. So now that we've got a healthy glow happening over the face, I'm going to be going in now with the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer and I'm in the shade Medium 10. I'm just putting that under the eyes. And with my Mecca Cosmetica Mini Buffing Brush, it's just a little buffing brush, I'm just going to work that in. And this is a lovely concealer. I did put this in uh, one of my top five favorite concealers. It's definitely underrated, I think. I also got the new uh, Bare Minerals uh, Complexion Rescue Brightening SPF 25 concealer. Tried that out the other day, love it. It's a little bit sheerer, but it's perfect for those days, like today when you're going to, say, run errands the beach you just want something light it's perfect even just 
look people just want sheerer coverage these days i think is that true i don't know i know i like a sheerer effect put the rest of the remaining of that over the eyelids since we're not going to be using any primer today okay brows i'm just using the lash and brow gel by essence it's just a clear brow gel now feel free to use a brow product of your choice but i love this brow gel it's clear and it's just perfect for the beach it really does keep your brows in place as well i find you build it up builds up nicely just brushing my brows up you could leave your face simply like this just the brows done a little bit of you know base makeup happening and that's it but if you do want to go the extra mile it's going to i think i went a bit overboard there okay so the brows are all done i'm going to be playing up the eyes a little bit with some eyeliner now i'm going to be using two products so i've got the stay all day waterproof liquid liner by stella and this is in the brown shade and i've also got the fenty beauty olive green shade in bank tank so i'm going to be using those to do the eyes just real simple eye look with the brown liquid eyeliner just give that a bit of a shake i'm just going to be doing a little wing and this is so good because it's also waterproof so you could leave it like that without a wing i'm going to do the wing just a little baby wing nothing too crazy And then I'm going in with the Fenty eyeliner and I'm going to be lining the lower lash line. This is the shade. That's the shade. Really beautiful. And just the outer corner. Just for a bit of, just for a little pop of colour. I'm just running it close to the lash line and to finish the look of the eyes I'm just going in with the perversion black mascara by urban decay just going to be putting that on the top lashes I'm not doing anything on the bottom lashes whatsoever and I'm not doing a thick coat either just really subtle Just really really subtle with the with the eyes there okay with my same foundation brush I'm going in with the bounce and blur blush by bare minerals and this is just a beautiful blush and bronzer in one so just getting my brush in there and pouncing that on to the cheeks to give us that beautiful bronzy blushed look Bit on the nose, bit on the forehead, and don't be afraid to take this higher up to sort of meet the under eyes because it really does enhance that bronzed, sun kissed look. So, to top it all off, I'm going in with the Dear Dahlia Blooming Edition Petal Glow Blush, and this is in the shade Infused. Just just about that much and going over that blush just to give a little bit of sparkle you can use it on its own or you can use it as a blush topper so just zoom you guys in so you can have a little it's very very subtle glow 
And last but not least, we're going in with the lips. I'll just zoom you guys back out again. And just using the Moth Orchard by KVD Beauty. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lip product. And I'm not doing a heavy coating, I'm just doing enough like a stain. And guys, that is pretty much the look. Really simple, yet glamorous I think, but in a really casual, nice, simple way to go to the beach. And just, you know, like a picnic or anything, it's just a simple, really put together look I think it's quite elegant and so guys that's the completed look I hope you enjoyed this video today if there's anything you'd like me to try out please leave it in the comments below I will list everything in the description for your perusal if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it would really help me out and for those of you new here who haven't subscribed already please subscribe it would love to have you here I really do hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are take it easy Stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.